Huh, it's kind of funny. There's a slight delay to it. Maybe it's just for look. There's nothing really striking. Um, it's, it's an air rifle. But they do similarly. You see that noise delay? They click first before this thing hammers in. So it's just for look. Okay. I think that's the reason why there's attention to it. It's just a valve in here opens up or close. Now my biggest thing is how do I get this sucker out? Okay. This is the reason why guys don't read owner's manual. How do I get a revolver thing out? It only shows cartridge or right here. Use your right thumb, push a safety button to open position. Left hand to dial cylinder. Okay. So it doesn't come out, even if it's open, I gotta have to push it. There's another click. So there's three click. Safety, fire, open, I get it. I'll get it now. Okay, so if I click hard, that goes to fire. If I click harder, it goes to open, and this thing opens up. It's very smooth. Okay, and obviously this is where the ejector is, like every other um, revolver. Then you pop this guy in, then you close it, then you eject, eject, it pops in, eject, pops in, and you close this. Okay, cool. And the cylinder, yeah. Let's see what's going on. So there's a, there's our vintage right here, right and left, up and down. You can adjust the up and down, elevation and vintage. Let me look that way. Okay, this is one thing I want to look, is the rifle piece. In order to see this, we need to put a, a white piece of paper behind it. A white piece of paper behind this. Okay, we can see the, see the rifling. Can you guys see it? So it is rifled barrel, no doubt. Look like it's a gentle rifle, rifling. Still rifling, obviously. Okay. And I like this thing just fall on the ground. I do like how strong this is. So we can it fall on the ground, it's okay. So the next thing, let's try to see if we can load this sucker. Okay, load this thing. Which way does it load? Which way does it load? Okay, so if you guys look, look like it's loading straight from the back. So if that's the back, this is the back, this is the front. That's where you pop this in. Look like the pellet loads this way. It's very flat, so that's good. And look like we still some, have some length. We can load the longer pellets. The longer ones, I feel like this might be able to get so those special pellets that has a longer body um, projectile. I might have to purchase those because if you load it like this and if you look carefully again, we still got quite a ways before we clear this. And of course the rotation. I don't think the rotation really matters in this case because it is a, every time it pops in, it locks into that cylinder. So the bullet can go as far as long as this for all they concern. You can make a pellet this long, it will still fire. Oh, I love it. And I'm glad I got this instead of pistol. Now I, ha I have the option pistol with the um, magazines. It pops in. This one doesn't. So I can load as long pellets as I want. With no fear. As long as one is a 0 0.177 or 45.4. No, 4.5 millimeter. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Again, uh, so that works. It fits. Now let's open this sucker up. If you buy extra magazines. Okay. This too, just to confirm. It is identical. It is identical. It is identical. So that's visually identical. So that would fit. Fits perfect. Okay, it's also on camo. Obviously, I try both. Fits perfect. Okay, so that works. And the next one, let's go ahead and try the Gamble CO2 cartridge. 
apparently, apparently, the nicer ones like this, which cost a little more, but we can get 80 shots off their um, 12 grain CO2 cartridge. So let's try it. CO2 goes in, obviously. Ah! I just broke it. Oh, this is just a simple clip. It's flexible. So I click back. Yeah. It just holds it. Or you can just take it off. But let's go ahead and try their CO2 cartridge. Um, okay. Let's move that box all the way. I never tried this before. I'm a little scared. It's a little slacking here. I pop that in. I take it out. Look like you can only pop it in one direction. The other direction is somewhat sealed. Okay, so you pop it in from this direction. You and me, first time. And I turn this. From other people down, just gotta keep turning it until that noise, shh, noise, and close it. Oh, I also bought a fluid. Um, I gotta pause this. Okay, I totally forgot. I bought this Pelagon oil show you guys um all the review people done online they recommend co2 cartridge you open this up it's actually the first time i open it hope nothing le leaks out okay you have to cut this or put a needle to it but you're supposed to use this and dip here then stick that in so the idea of that is this particularly oil also acts as a seal. So there's less leak out between the seal and the um, cylinder. Uh, people say the cylinder, the seal, uh, plastic ring here loses its oil over time. So I believe the first time it's okay, but the next time I'm going to start use this. So less, and I gotta put it right here in the box so I don't forget. Um, I believe this is only five dollars, six dollars, could be less. I can't remember. But okay, hope to seal that so this won't just slowly leak out. This will slowly leak out. If you leave it in here, maybe according to people, over time this will be empty out, even with a fresh seal to go in it. Okay, and nothing's in here. This is an empty magazine. Put in here. Okay, it still rotates like a real revolver, and let's shoot it. Let's do double action first. Whoa, that is cool. Let's do single action. Whoa, very cool. So that's two shots off this dry fire. No um, pellets, just for kicks and giggles. Here's the registration manual. If I can let it stand. Okay. Gotta be aware. Don't kill anything here. Get the pellets away. CO2 power, see how powerful it is. Ready, set, go. Awesome. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Go get one. Bye. This is what remained of that piece of paper after I picked up by the air gun just below at it.